What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you guys what I do on location when shooting real estate videography. So let's get started. All right guys, so here we are, we're on location. Today we're in Riverside, California. We just got inside the property. This is a vacant property, as you can see, pretty small, so it won't take us too, too long. So I want to show you guys the little small things, the little details of what I do when I come to shoot a house like this. Um, so let's just get started. Usually when I come in the house, first thing I do is I set myself up, I set myself stuff down in the kitchen area. Um, I like to balance my gimbal on the flat sur countertop surfaces because they're usually level for construction purposes. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. All right, so today we're shooting on the Sony a7S III and a Laowa 12 millimeter. There have been some instances in the past where I come to a property, I shoot the footage, I go back, I look at it in the computer and I notice some small specks of dust on my sensor. So I always try to make sure that I clean it. I keep this thing handy. So I just do a couple pumps in there, set it upside down and then same for the lens. You always wanna do this kind of stuff with the opening upside down because if you do it like this, the dust is just gonna fall right back in. And I'm not trying to speed race or anything here. I usually just work kind of fast. Um, the whole point with real estate videography and photography is to kind of get in and out of the property fast. It's one of the lower paying niches in videography in terms of on a per job basis, but you can make a lot of money if you're able to turn over a lot of properties. So if you work fast, you can work more and make more money. So that's kind of why you see me working fast here. I usually try to hide all my stuff into the kitchen cabinets if they're open or I'll find a closet or something because as I'm shooting, I don't want to have to keep moving stuff around. So next we're filming this stuff today on a DJI, DJI RS2. This is my gimbal of choice. I love this thing. I've had it for maybe going on a year now and I, I absolutely love it. All right, so I've been asked a lot on TikTok um, how long it takes to balance this gimbal, um, why I love it so much, stuff like that. So we're gonna set a real world timer right now from just the way it is and let's see how long it takes me to balance this gimbal. All right guys. So however long that took, I think it might've took like 40, 45 seconds. If I had to guess, we'll leave the time down below. But otherwise, this gimbal is all prepped, calibrated, balanced, it's good to go. So we'll leave that here for now. Let's go around and open up all the blinds, let in all the light, turn on all the light switches and just get this property ready. So let's do that. So usually you just wanna make sure blinds are open like this. We're letting as much light in as possible. Thankfully for us, these, this house is like really light floors, white, flo white walls throughout, so it'll be really easy to shoot. Um, we won't have to push our ISO limits or anything like that. Personally, for video, I like to have fans off. Some people like to leave them on. It's really just a personal preference. There we go. One thing you want to do when you're going around and turning on lights and stuff like that is just make sure you take note of what you're doing, what you're changing, because you want to leave the property the way you found it. So if you can, just take a mental note of what you're moving around and that way when you're leaving, you know what to put back. So I got to take a mental note and remember to put this back when I leave. I think um, for a property like this, I'm gonna start on the outside first. I'll go out there, do everything I need to do outside and then we'll come inside afterwards. It's really windy out there. So if it sounds like garbage, bear with us. All right guys, so first things first, I'm gonna move this thing. I don't like this here. It's kinda not flattering. So I'm just gonna push it off to the side. And another thing, you guys saw on camera earlier getting in the property, I had to get a lockbox. Always keep the keys 
on you because you don't want you to lock yourself out of the house and it's just a big mess. I haven't done it before, but I don't want to, so I keep the keys on me. I'm gonna set my aperture to F11. And the cool thing is on this camera, since this is so wide at 12 millimeters, if I keep my focus right there at the infinity mark, at F11, everything's gonna be in focus, so I don't really have to worry about much. So it'll be on manual focus. And it would help if I put a battery in the camera. So we're gonna go do that and we'll be right back. All right guys, so now that we got our battery in here, we're gonna be at F16. Today I am shooting at a frame rate of 60 frames per second. My ISO is at 640, cause that's the minimum. I'm shooting on S-Log3. And our shutter speed is at one over 125. So first things first, I'm gonna get this shot right here, just walking up straight to the door. So I'm gonna use this pathway as a guide and then I'm gonna go and walk up as if I was gonna plop through the door. And then I'll do the same thing here on this side. So I'm just gonna line myself up straight with the door right here. So as long as I'm straight, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk forward. The entire time when I'm shooting these things, um, I try to keep my knees bent, try to walk heel toe, keep things nice and steady. Um, and I kind of just do one shot takes from every single direction. And then I'll just pick and choose what clips I like later on. So like I said, our goal here on location is just to work as fast as possible. So I literally just go around and get, you know, the house from all different angles. So I would say the front of the house is good here. We can move to the back side or the side yard. So while I'm outside and I have my exposure and camera set for everything outdoors, I'm just gonna do all the outdoor shots that I can. Let's get another shot of this side yard over here. Perfect, now this little patio area. Whenever I see stuff like this, I'll just push it off to the side. I don't want it in the shot, so I'll just move it. If they're large items, big stuff, I wouldn't even bother. That's something that the agent knows they should have to take care of. And I discussed that with, the, with them beforehand. So little things, it's not a big deal for me. Here I am, I'm just adjusting my exposure a little bit. I'm going down to F8 because this is shaded. It's a little bit darker than from over there. So I just uh, adjust my aperture just a little bit to get a little brighter. So I'll do it from that angle, and then if you want to come over this way, I'll do one from this angle as well. There's no right or wrong way to do this, as long as you're just covering every angle. And it may not include every single shot in the final edit, but at least I know when I go back to my computer, if the property or seller wants, property owner or seller wants to see something, that I didn't include the video, at least I know I have a shot of it. Now we'll do one more of this back area. So as you guys can see, I constantly move from angle to angle, just making sure that I have everything covered. Now that we got everything inside the gates good, 
Let's go ahead and jump outside the gate so whoever's buying the place can see that this house is gated. It looks like this whole driveway area is belongs to this property, as far as I know, because they have their own garage. I want these trash cans out of the way, but before moving them over there, I'm gonna take a shot while it's empty and then I'll move the trash cans after. You guys will notice instead of walking that way and filming this lot pointing this way, I'm filming it pointing that direction so they can see how close this shed garage is in proximity to the house. Because it doesn't make sense for me to show the potential buyer this garage and this with the neighbor's house. That's not important to them. What's important is how close it is to their house that they're probably buying. Just give me a minute and I'll move these trash cans. Okay, now that the trash cans aren't here, I'm just gonna get one more shot of this area from a little bit farther back. Okay, cool. Now let's go to the front. All right, so right off the bat, I know a couple good things about this house are one, it's a corner lot. So you've only got two neighbors. People love corner lots, especially because usually they're more spacious. And two, it is gated. So that's something we want to show. So in order to show those two things in one shot, I'm going to start from right here so I can see the corner fence. I can see the street sign, which indicates it's on a corner and we can obviously see the fence. So here's what that shot will look like. Beautiful, and just for good measure, I'll take one more shot from the entrance right here, just walking straight up. Cool, we're good with the exteriors, let's go inside. All right guys, so now here we are inside. Um, first thing we wanna do is we got that front door shot where I walked up to the door. We wanna get the second half of that shot so we'll start with the door being open and walk right in. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start right behind the door jam. Let's go ahead and walk right in. Usually in every case, you saw me hit the wall there, I usually keep walking until I can't anymore because it's always good to have more footage than not enough. All right guys, so after we do that, I always close the door and I lock it. I don't need anybody invading on the property or intruding while I'm here and then it becomes my problem. Can't have that. So what I'll do here is I'll get a couple shots. So because I came over this way and I showed the layout from this direction, I'm gonna do one from over there and kind of show the room from looking that way this way, if that makes sense. So what I'll do is I'll kind of just start here underneath this arch. I want to be sure I'm centered under the arch. Make sure I have my proper exposure. And I'll just kind of go like this. Okay, simple as that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this main living room to the next room over, which would be that dining kind of kitchen combination there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from right here. I'm gonna center myself in that arch. I'll start right about here, make sure my tripod's at a good height, not too high, not too low, and just walk right over and go to the next room. Cool. And so since I got the kitchen facing, looking this direction, I'm gonna get one of the kitchen looking that direction. So now I'm gonna start here and walk that way.
cool. We'll get one more clip here. Just kind of, I like to use a countertop and I back up on it because it's straight, so it usually keeps me straight when I get these like slider effect shots. Cool. And as I said before, I just shoot extra. I shoot more than I need. So I'm gonna get a shot of this little area and um, it can, if I wanted to, I can edit it to showcase the patio outside or I don't have to include it in the video at all. and one more facing the other direction. Usually when I record stuff, I like to record it going one direction and then I'll just walk backwards and do the same exact thing. Cool. So now I've got that room covered, this little area, the kitchen. Let's jump into these three rooms right here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on this light in the bathroom, first of all. All right. Now to connect this to the bedrooms, I'm going to start from right here and I'm going to walk into that first bedroom. I'll get two angles in there. We'll go to the next one and then the bathroom. So let's go ahead and start from right here. When there's nothing in a room, it's kind of boring like this. I at least want to make sure I'm facing towards the closet so people can see where the closet's at. And I'm just going to do kind of like a sweeping motion so people can see pretty much the entire room in one shot. So I'll start like this, come down and come across. And that's it. And usually it's all in the legs. You just kind of sway one way or another. So let's go ahead and walk into this room. Okay. So technically by law, this is not a bedroom because there's no closet. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get one of those sweeping shots, but the only other thing for me to show in this room is that fake window thing. So I'll make sure I get that in the shot. With bathrooms, generally since the sink is lower, the toilet's lower, everything's kind of lower, I usually stay a little bit lower. I'm not as high as I am in a bedroom um, because the person who's buying this typically doesn't really care about the toilet as much, but they care about like the floor that's in there, if it's a decent floor and the vanity. So we're gonna make sure we capture those things. So I'm gonna stay low. I'll start in here and I'll work backwards. Bump into shit every day. Every day of my life. I will do the same thing, just walking inwards this time. And I'm gonna come at a little bit of an angle. We'll do that again, I'm coming backwards. Cool. So now we're moving on to the next room. Let's go take a peek at what we're working with again. Okay, so we have a nice big room. We got a doorway here, big sliding door, big ass window, a little window. Um, I love this door, love the sliding door. I'm gonna open up these blinds so they can see what's behind these blinds. So stop them from shaking a little bit because we don't want that in the shot. So at least now when I walk through here, people can see, oh, there's, there's the sliding door and there's where it connects to the patio. So we can edit that to show buyers the layout of the house. So to enter that room, again, we're gonna start here in the kitchen so they can see the kitchen, they know where the kitchen's at already and how it connects to the next room. Here we go. 
I want to make sure I'm straight underneath that doorway and come in and I turn it a little bit to the side. Beautiful. And now again, coming from that direction, I was able to see these three walls, but buyers still were not able to see that sliding door and that wall. So I'm going to make sure I get a, a shot of this room from the other angle so they can see all four walls of the room. So I'll start in the corner here. I'm literally just gonna sweep in and turn to the side a little bit so they can see that sliding door. I'm just gonna walk all the way up to it in case I wanna edit me going outside and I'm just gonna do the same thing backwards. So you'll notice my knees are bent, doing like a heel to toe motion, and I just come all the way back. Perfect. So now we're connecting this room to what I think is the master bedroom. So we'll go right in between the doorway, perfectly aligned, and we're gonna go in and turn left. I start turning left right before I get to the door. So I want these buyers to see the bathroom is connected to the room. So I'm going to open the door if it will. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start right here. They can see that door. They can see the closet. They can see the sliding door mm -hmm. and I'm going to slowly walk towards the bathroom. Okay. So I can connect these two spaces and you'll notice when I'm recording the bathroom, I'm going to get real, real low because there's a big ass mirror right there and I can't catch myself in the mirror. So I'm going to start high and I'm going to start walking real low. So it is a little bit of a workout here. This sliding door here on the shower is glass. So you can clearly see a reflection in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. And as long as I record this shower and I stay on that side, it won't catch my reflection. So I'm gonna do the shot I just did, only I'm gonna go backwards this time. All right. So I'll start all the way up here. I'm gonna come backwards in three, two, one. Come low. I'm going to get one more shot of this bathroom. I'm going to close the door and I'm just going to record this like little vanity sink thing from another angle, just in case. So I'll start down here. I'm just going to push forward and turn my camera to the right. Boom. That's it. Now, lastly, we have this weird, like, patio room addition thing. I guess it's a bedroom. So I'm just going to walk from right here out the sliding door and kind of showcase the room as I did this one. So we'll start right here. Let's go ahead and walk through that sliding door, turning the camera left. All right, perfect. So I guess this is a laundry room because we have laundry connections there and I'm just going to go ahead and do a one point shot so I'm just going to walk straight into that room from right here kind of going forward now I'm coming backwards to do the same thing making sure my lines and horizontals are straight boom that's it let's see what's in here Okay, water heater. Sometimes these rooms are full of surprises. I've opened a door like that before and there's like a toilet or something. You never know if it's there, you wanna capture it. I already got the shots outside, thankfully. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from right there. I'm gonna walk straight to the door. So if I wanted to edit me going outside, I can do that later.
All right, here we go. This closet has some decent build-ins, built-ins, like shelving and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna include it in the video, but what I don't want is for the seller to message me or call me later and say, hey, you didn't get a shot of the closet. Can you include that or can you go back? I do not, 100% do not want to come back to this property. I'd rather have the footage on hand than have to come back. I don't anticipate putting that in the video, but I'd rather just have the footage. All right guys, so there you have it. That's what it takes to shoot some real estate videography in a basic house just like this. It's not all glamorous. Most of the time the houses do look something similar to this. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to drop them down below. I'll try to make a video on it, even if it's just a short TikTok video or YouTube short, something like that. Other than that, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.